No, 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 no. Oh my god, I did not just say that. He's doing the bare minimum when it comes to relationship. They are both the most bland people. Such good chemistry, such good schmexy scenes. Hi everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. A bitch is back talking about books. Today, we're talking book couples. Will they stay together or will they ultimately break up after the book is over? I wanted to make a video like this because I have so many thoughts on this every single time i read a book and there's a couple in it whether that be a regular schmegular fantasy book a fantasy romance a contemporary romance a young adult contemporary a trauma dump book a smut book i always have an opinion on whether the book couple will stay together after the book is over every single time i read the book wow why am i reading this upside down i read the book then i close it and i think and then I tell myself, yeah. Or I say, no. So that is the question that we are gonna be answering today. I might wanna do a part two to this series and, and create this as a series. So if you have book couples that I forgot, please let me know in the, in the comments below. Maybe I'll do a part two because I almost absolutely positively probably left a lot of couples out. I read a lot of romance. I read a lot of couples. If there, if there is a couple and they are not even the subplot, then I probably wouldn't have read the book. Let's be real. Before we get started though, I do want to say that a lot of these books, it's been a while since I've read them. Um, some more recently than others, so my opinion might just be from what I remember. I might not be justified in my opinion, but it's just that, an opinion, you know, and scenarios that I create in my own head. And I might not even remember what happened in the books, but this is just from what I remember and what I know about the couple. Let's get started. The first couple we're going to be talking about is Alex and Henry from Red, White, and Royal Blue. Will they stay together or will they break up after the book is over? I read this book so long ago, I barely remember it, and I remember reading it and being so confused at the writing because it was the first time I read a romance book and it was in third person and yeah i really am that much of a stupid ass bitch they were talking in pronouns right they were saying oh he pulled his hair back and he tucked it behind his ear he was sitting on the couch and in my head i was so frustrated because i was thinking which he are they talking about are they talking about the brother the sister the this the that are they talking about henry or alex i was so confused for so long and that's because this is the first time i read a romance after I started getting back into reading books so yeah it is a little embarrassing um, just because I was playing the guessing game with the pronouns I might want to give this book a reread before the movie comes out let's get to the question will this book couple stay together after the book is over Alex and Henry so wholesome so cute such a cute story the answer for me is no <laughs> I don't think this book couple would stay together. The only reason why I think that is because of the political aspect of it. Alex is the president's son. Henry is the royal, what is it? He's, he's like, he's the prince of Britain. Is it England or Britain? Or is it both? Or is there a difference? Honestly, like I said, I'm a dumbass bitch. If you know the answer, please let me know and educate me. But yeah, I'm just gonna say England. He is the prince of England. I think they will break up solely because of political reasons. I think that it will be their families that ultimately break them up because this book ends on like this huge thing, like celebration of pride, right? That's one obstacle they have to get through. There will be political matters that Alex's mom and Henry's family will ultimately disagree on which has to do with the entire nation of the United States and the entire nation of England, yeah, that will ultimately break them up. I give them a good five to six years before they break up, but I ultimately don't think that they will be staying together. I think they will have a really cute time walking in parks, getting publicity shots, paparazzi shots all the time, having cute little strolls in the park, visiting each other, getting daily mail, articles written about them. But I don't see them having kids together. I don't see them staying together after five or six years. I just really think that these political obstacles will get in the way and they will ultimately break up. Next book couple I wanna talk about 
is going to be Twilight. Bella and Edward, will they stay together after the book is over? I'm gonna say no, I don't think they'll stay together. Here's what I think will happen after the book is over. They have a baby together, they've been through a lot together, they will stay together for the next 50 plus years. Not a thousand years, a thousand more, no. They will stay together for maybe 50 years, but they're vampires. They live forever. They are both the most bland people ever. They will get bored and they will ultimately leave each other. They will get divorced and they will co-parent Renesme, and they will just be so bored in the relationship. If they end up staying together, they will just stay in, in the bored relationship and never break up just because they're used to it. But I just don't see them staying together past 50 years. So that's my take on Bella and Edward. The next book, unsurprisingly, because it was inspired by Twilight, is going to be Christian and Anastasia in Fifty Shades of Grey. Will this couple stay together after the book is over? And this is gonna be controversial because this relationship is so, so, so toxic. I'm gonna say yes, they will stay together, but should they stay together, is gonna be no. I think that they will stay together because Anastasia, no matter how much she wants to say, she has an inner goddess. She's kind of a doormat. She'll stay with him. She kind of likes how Christian is. She's kind of into it. She just like goes with the flow type of situation. I think they're both satisfied with how their relationship is. As a reader, they shouldn't be. But Anastasia just feels like a girl who's just like fine, like, I'm chilling. He's hot. He's a billionaire. Fuck it. I'll stay in this relationship. And that's how it'll be. They have a pretty spicy love life, so things will always be interesting in bed. I think they'll stay together. Do I think they should? Absolutely not. Absolutely fucking not. There's just so many problems in the relationship. This girl said she was pregnant, and the first thing that this man does is leaves her to go talk to his ex-girlfriend, who is a sexual predator, might I add, might I add, to go drink his sorrows away as if he's the one with the baby in his womb. Like, come on. Come on now. But if she can get behind him and forgive him for that, Anastasia will forgive him for anything, okay? So, yeah, they will stay together, okay? Should they? No, but they will. The next book couple that I want to talk about is going to be something that I read really, really recently, so I wanted to talk about it a little bit. I wanted to mention it, is the Shatter Me series. Juliet and Aaron. Will they stay together after the book is over? I believe, yes, they will stay together. Here's how I think that the end of the book is going to play out. After you read the last chapter, I only read the first trilogy, might I add. I didn't read books four, five, and six. I feel like they stand alone as a trilogy, and then if I feel like reading on, I will. But this is from what I grasped from the first three books, is that they share a lot of similarities, they're both very, very powerful. They have really good chemistry with each other and they share a lot of inner turmoil within their past, with the traumas that they've been through. They met each other at a time of turmoil and war. So once the war is over, they will go through a lot of obstacles, living everyday normal life because when you're in war you're just so distracted by the politics and all of those things that they will probably go through some obstacles but i ultimately think they'll stay together because aaron can read juliet like a book that's literally his power he can read her and read her emotions that because of that they have really good communication skills therefore they will be very easy to work things out if there are problems in the relationship i do feel like there is a lot of toxicity with like the way they communicated especially in the beginning of the relationship but ultimately i think adam just con adam oh my god i did not just say that Aaron, he just confesses his feelings so easily they're very open like that and they care about how the other person feels that yes they will ultimately stay together after the book is over forever for a long time speaking of having empathy for other people and putting your partner's feelings before yourself and taking them to account 
The next book couple we're going to be talking about, will they stay together after the book is over, is Miles and Tate from Ugly Love. I think we all know my answer to this question. No. Hell no. A lot of Colleen Hoover couples, they probably won't stay together after the book is over. Miles and Tate won't stay together after the book is over. They, first of all, don't communicate well at all. They're kind of selfish in the relationship. Like, Miles has this thing. No strings attached. We're just gonna fuck. And, like, you can't ask me about my past, blah, blah, blah. And never cared about how much it was hurting the other person. Saw that it was actually affecting Tate. Saw that she was catching feelings. And he was just, I can't control myself. I can't control, like, I just need to fuck you, basically. And in the process, hurt her along the way without caring about it. Just because he couldn't, like, control himself, I guess. Like, he just couldn't leave her alone. He just couldn't leave her alone. And, yeah, I just don't think they would stay together. What I think will happen is that they'll have a good year or two. Hopefully, Tate doesn't stay a doormat. Hopefully, Tate, after being comfortable in the relationship will realize that Miles doesn't respect her in the least and leave. But that is my my greatest hope. But Tate was also a bad character. Tate had so much hopes and dreams about what the, the relationship with Miles is going to be like that this relationship is very lustful and not much else. They don't really know much about each other. He, yeah, he went through trauma and he, he, still, he was still in love with his ex for years and years and years, from what I remember, now that it's coming all back to me, yeah. Tate is just the replacement for Rachel. So, and he was just replacing his dead son with another son, with Tate. And that's gonna bite him in the ass, and it's gonna bite the relationship in the ass, and yeah. No, I don't think they'll stay together after the book's over. Sorry, that's ugly love. The next book couple we're gonna be talking about, will they stay together after the book is over? is The Deal by Al Kennedy. I could talk about all of these couples. Will they stay together after the book is over? I think two out of four of them. Maybe. For sure, not Grace and Logan in The Mistake. The Mistake, Grace and Logan, that's a no from me because that was Wattpad. Wattpad in the bad way. Like, they had no chemistry. They didn't know much about each other. I don't know much about them. What do they have in common? I don't know. The only thing that these two people have in common is that they're probably hot, they like each other. That second book, The Mistake, I just don't find any characteristics about specifically Grace that I feel like are interesting enough or compatible enough with Logan for them to stay together after the book is over. I give him a good maybe like three or four years. The deal, Hannah and Garrett. This might be controversial too. I think that Hannah and Garrett will end up breaking up. Yeah, controversial because everyone's like, oh my god, this book couple, blah, blah, blah. I think they will stay together for a long, long time. But the vibes that Hannah and Garrett give me are first love type of vibes. They've helped each other overcome traumas from their past. They saw the best in each other and they were there for each other when they needed them the most that first book, The Deal, was very wholesome in that way, and I loved it. And I think because of that, they will stay together for a very long time. They will probably get married. At least 10 plus years, they'll stay together. They'll have a couple kids. They'll be that cute little suburban family, middle class that has beautiful children. Hannah will drink wine on the weekends. I just feel like they won't stay together because also, past that the relationship was very much like he was like oh my god her stripper tits the whole reformed fuckboy trope sometimes doesn't work out for me because i feel like garrett in his mindset i don't know i don't know what it is about about it but i feel like this question is very up in the air for me i think they could stay together forever but i also think that maybe in 10 plus years it could be a hockey thing like they don't share a lot of hobbies outside of them going to school together i don't know i really don't i feel like there would be a lot of like minuscule things like garrett seems like the type of husband who would leave his dirty shit around his dirty hockey gear around and hannah would have to clean it up and there would be a lot of like 
microscopic things that are just like annoying in the relationship and then they'll get tired of each other sick of each other and just break up amicably they'll raise their kids um and coexist co-parent and yeah that's that on that but they'll have a really great cute relationship and they'll be in each other's lives forever after that from luke off with love is the next book jasmine and ivan i say absolutely absolutely this couple will stay together they first of all grew up together they know the ins and outs of each other and how each other are they've been together for a long time in the book they've gone through so many obstacles with each other already and know a lot about each other yeah they will stay together after the book is over I, yeah they do ice skating together etc etc but the one thing that this book has about each other this couple has to each other like how they feel about each other that a lot of other couples don't talk about or don't have is respect they respect each other so much and that is probably the thing that i feel like with the deal i feel like is lacking does garrett respect hannah her and is proud of her or is he just like oh my god wifey she's wifey you know kind of situation but in from lugoff with love this couple has so much admiration and respect for each other for their craft yeah they're soulmates they will stay together forever i believe that i truly believe that next one november 9 we're staying with colleen hoover let me just say most colleen hoover books that i've read i think is questionable if the couple will stay together november 9 is one of them i have in my notes here it says no 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 I don't think they should have been together in the first place. I think the book should have ended with maybe Fallon forgiving Ben for burning her fucking face off. Maybe it should have ended there. Y'all shouldn't have stayed together. Y'all shouldn't have been together to begin with in the first place. So no, I don't think they'll stay together. There's no trust in the relationship. There's no communication. Ben has very aggressive behavior. They don't have that respect for each other. They both don't respect each other really and the communication is horrible there's like no chemistry both of them are just super angsty to each other and aren't open about communication and their feelings so no they will not stay together you know it's called november 9 like what five novembers five or six novembers the next november after getting together and then the next november they'll be broken up one year later november 9 they're broken up that that's that's what i think the sweetest oblivion and the entire series Nico and Elena. Will Nico and Elena stay together? Technically, yes, because if Elena doesn't stay with Nico, she'd probably be killed. But I just, no, I don't think they'll stay together. I don't know what it is about them, but Nico gives me like cheater vibes. He says he's not, he would never, he would like cherish Miss Barbie Elena, but I really, I just don't see the chemistry with this relationship. I might have to reread this book, but I just didn't see the chemistry at all. I don't know what they have in common at all. It's a very controlling relationship, and I think Elena will stay with him just because, you know, of the power imbalance, they're in the mafia, shit like that. But Nico doesn't really respect Elena, first of all. Um, sees her kind of as an object, like, she's mine, this is my, that gang, you know? I think Nico will get tired of her, maybe cheat on her. It's kind of a lustful relationship too. I don't know, there's something about Nico where I feel like he'll eventually cheat on her. That first book though was so funny. Let me just say, The, the Sweetest Oblivion, he literally pushed her in a pool. Boy, that's funny, that's funny. The Maddest Obsession though, Christian and Gianna. I say yes. I say yes just because he is obsessed with her and I think I like I think I like Gianna as a character better. Like I can see the qualities in her that Christian loves. And Christian was also obsessed with Gianna for a long time. He worships the ground that she walks on and I feel like that with a lot of couples, you know, with the book couples. He worships the ground she walks on. He was there for her even in her past marriages so you know that yes he has a temper i mean he literally killed a guy in the head in her apartment because he was jealous but i don't know what it is about them i feel like they'll stay together i think they'll stay together after the book is over they will probably have kids and be really cute the darkest temptation first of all what's her name 
but she didn't get to see much of the world her whole life so when she gets to explore the world and actually experience things mila will realize that ronin was doing the bare minimum the entire book yeah i don't think they'll stay together <laughs> she'll find out about the world they'll stay together for maybe like two years the stockholm syndrome will set in it'll go away she's gonna be like wow there's so much of the world i haven't seen maybe i want to see it with you and then realize he's doing the bare minimum when it comes to relationship and leave and they won't stay together and that's that's my opinion i'm just gonna do one more because i'm so tired and i will have a part two to the series if it's if if you like it will they stay together after the book is over yes or no i'm actually gonna do the whole series is the twisted series this is the last one i will be talking about today twisted love alex and ava will they stay together after the book is over canon they have they got married things like that the end of twisted lies yes canon wise yes in actuality would they stay together no there's so much deceit going on in this relationship. They don't even have that much in common with each other. Like, what is it about the other person do they like about each other? Because she's Miss Sunshine? There's so many Sunshine characters out there. I'm Miss Sunshine! The hell? Ava's the same shit. Yes, Alex worships the ground that Ava walks on, but why? Why? Por qué? I don't know. I just don't understand the relationship. I don't think they have enough similarities with each other. I think Alex has a lot of issues and is way too grumpy for Ava to get behind it. He just pisses me off sometimes that, yeah, if I was Ava, I wouldn't stay. I would not stay. I don't think they stay together. They look like that they probably have a boring relationship, to be honest. If they're out and about on a date. They look like a couple who just sits next to each other in silence and just sits there, but not in silence that's like really romantic and cute, in silence that's just boring. That is what I feel. I just don't know what goes on behind closed doors in that relationship. I just don't think they'd stay together after the book's over. I, I don't know. I just don't think so. There's so much deceit. There's so many lies. And I was talking about this in my review of Twisted Love that Alex did the one thing that Ava did not want. She wanted the truth. I kind of forget what happens in the book, but Alex does the, does the whole, oh, I'm doing what's best for you. I'm leaving because of this and this and that. When the whole uncle situation happened, and then that's the reason, that was the third act conflict. That's the reason why they break up. From what I remember, he did the one thing in that series, in that book, he did the one thing that she would not tolerate. Like, he could have just been honest with her about the situation instead of being like, I don't love you no it was it was all a lot like uh i don't know i kind of forget what happens but i just remember i was really pissed at that third act conflict and that was what solidified when i closed the book that i didn't think they were gonna stay together after the book was over like i think yeah he oh my god the groveling the groveling the groveling was one note it felt so forced and he groveled for a year and i feel like it wasn't enough because he groveled for a year but we only saw it in a chapter and yeah, that's that on that. Twisted Love, no. Twisted Games, yes. I think Twisted Games, Reese and Bridget would stay together. They have that dynamic. Their chemistry is off the charts. Like, oof, this forbidden romance, oof. They overthrew a country to be together. You know, the type of smut that they have is very degrading, but the way that they respect each other outside of those scenes there's so much respect there for who Bridget is as a person, as a ruler. Same thing with Reese. Yes, they will absolutely stay together after the book is over. For Twisted Hate, Jules and Josh, will they stay together after the book is over? I don't know if I'm saying this because I want them to stay together after the book is over or they actually will and it's justified, but I say yes. I think they'll stay together after the book is over. You know, doctor, lawyer, power couple, they have such good chemistry, such good schmexy scenes and they can laugh together they have great banter they can laugh together they'll laugh their asses off to the end of the moon and there's just something about them where the way that they insult each other and joke around makes a lot of sense yeah that third act conflict i would be holding that over josh's josh's head for the rest of his life and that would be a reoccurring problem that they would have in the relationship after they get married and have kids and all that but they would stay together that might be really bad of me to say like kind of controversial but yeah i think they'll stay together i don't know if it's because i want them to but i also think that they kind of respect each other outside of the room the bedroom like i said um by the way that's the best type of dynamic dynamic that i love 
in books. It's really exposing me, but it's when they are so horrible to you or to the character in bed, but out of the bed, there's so much admiration and respect. I, I don't know why I love that shit. I don't know why. But that's in Twisted Games, and that is in Twisted Hate, kind of. Oh, the thing with Twisted Hate, too, is that I think they'll stay together for 10 plus years, and they'll always keep it interesting. And that will be why their relationship works out in the end. Anyways, Twisted Lies. I don't know. I don't know if Christian and Stella will stay together. It's kind of questionable. I really don't know. I kind of forgot about what happened in this book. It was kind of forgettable in my opinion. Twisted Lies I think is questionable because there is just kind of no chemistry with them. Not gonna lie. I don't really remember this couple or any of their cute scenes or any of that. So that's my answer, I guess. I don't know. That is the end of part one to would this book couple stay together after the book is over. I do have a longer list that I want to talk about, more contemporary romances and all that stuff, but these are just my opinions on if I think they'll stay together and why. I think the moral of the story here is that I believe that couples will stay together if you can tell that they respect each other as people. Because I feel like that's kind of lacking in a lot of books. You don't really see if they're respecting each other outside of the books or if they admire each other outside of the given circumstances. They just have, oh my god, like that's so cringy but cute type of moments. That was the deal for me, right? I don't know if Garrett actually respects Hannah as a person. That's all on that. Thank you so much for watching. And please let me know your thoughts below. If you agree with me, if you disagree with me, any of that stuff, let me know. And also, let me know if, like, I'm so unjustified with a lot of my opinions. Because I feel like I am. Any book couples that I missed or you want to see me talk about, let me know too. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next one.